Hello and welcome to Security Methods and Practice, uh, CET 4884. Before we begin discussing the concepts and terms of information security, it's necessary to review the origins of this field and its impact on our understanding of today's information security. The discussion will lead to reviewing the history of computer security, the involvement of the field, to current information security and the definition of information security. The discussion will also address the concepts and terms of information security which will be used over the progress of the semester. By the end of this unit, you should be able to define information security, re uh, recount the history of uh, computer security, and explain how it evolved uh, into information security, define key terms and critical concepts of information security, explain the role of security in the systems development life cycle, uh, describe the information security roles of professionals within an organization and that will be by the end of the unit so over the two parts of the lectures two lectures uh, thinking about security started immediately after the first uh, mainframes were developed uh, during world war ii many groups started developing code breaking computations to uh, intercept the signals and messages sent by military headquarters to their troops Knowing that could happen, multiple levels of security were implemented. One of the first measures taken were uh, physical controls, limiting the access to sensitive military locations, equipment, and devices to uh, authorized personnel defending uh, against physical theft, espionage, and sabotage. You don't want them to get to your devices. You don't want them to get to your equipment. So you have to protect them physically by putting all these devices behind closed doors. Over the years, many articles and reports have been published about the importance of computer security, suggesting different methods that can be used to protect the network, communication, and information processing. Computer security, network security, and data security became the buzz words. Many agencies, institutions, and research labs concentrated uh, their efforts to find new ways to better uh, understand the vulnerabilities of operating system security and examine the possibility of automated vulnerability detection techniques in existing system software. Security became part of the operating system design. In the report titled The Unix System, uh, Unix Operating System Security, published 1982, the authors examined four important hand, uh, handle, handles to computer security. First, the physical control of primes uh, and computer facilities, which is putting these machines behind closed doors where authorized personnel only can access them. Uh, second, the management commitment to security objectives and the importance of dedicating a budget to address vulnerabilities of the system. Third, educating employees through uh, adding security training components to the system. And fourth, the administrative procedure policies and rules aimed to increase security. In 1992, researchers for the Internet um, engineering task force uh, working at the Naval Research Lab developed the uh, Simple Internet Protocol uh, Plus, which is SIPP, uh, Security Protocols, creating what's now known as the uh, IPSEC or IPSEC Security. This is an earlier version of the German uh, coding machine, which is called Enigma. The Enigma machine, shown in the picture here, is a cipher device developed and used in the early to mid-20th century, century to protect commercial, diplomatic, and military communication. 
It was used by the German during World War II to send encrypted top secret messages. The code for this machine was broken first by the Poles back in the 1930s. The increasingly complex versions of the Enigma uh, caused uh, considerable in in English, uh, to allied forces before finally uh, uh, being cracked or uh, were able to uh, break the code. The information gained from decrypted transmissions was um, to anticipate the uh, actions of German armed forces. In the 60s, the Department of Defense uh, was exploring new methods of communication information between defense agencies, especially if they were in different locations. So the Department of Defense Research Agency named uh, as uh, Advanced Research uh, Procurement Agency, or ARPA, began examining the feasibility of a redundant networked communication system designed to support the military's uh, need to exchange information between these different uh, locations or the separate locations. One of the rising researchers was Larry Roberts, uh, who developed communication be uh, network between different locations through a project called uh, APRA-NET. So it's the same, you know, the, the agency uh, or the uh, that section, that area uh, of research, um, and they call it APRA-NET, the net for APRA, which was considered the foundation of the Internet. Actually, Larry is known as the founder of the Internet. In the 70s and 80s, the APRA-NET uh, grew in popularity and use, which created a potential misuse of the system. Fundamental uh, problems with uh, APRANET security were identified such as individual remote users sites did not have sufficient controls and safeguards to protect data against unauthorized uh, remote users. There were no safety procedures for dial-up connections to the APRANET. User identification and authorization to the system were not existent so anyone can actually get into the system and get the information they need. The, the phone numbers that were used for the dial-up connection were widely distributed and openly uh, publicized on the walls of the restrooms and phone booths, giving hackers easy access to the opera-net. With the existence of new systems, uh, there was a need for policies, rules, and multiple controls to secure the networked computers. It began with RAND uh, report, and that was R609, sponsored by the Department of Defense, which attempted to define multiple controls and mechanisms necessary to the protection of a multi-level computer system. The scope of computer security grew from physical security to include safety of the data itself, limiting of random and unauthorized access to that data, and involvement of personnel from multiple levels of the organization. At this stage, the concept of computer security evolved into the more sophisticated system we call information security. Much of the focus for research on computer security centered on a system called Multix, um, which is the uh, multiplexed information and computing service. Um, in the mid-1969, uh, not long after the uh, restructuring of the Multix project, Similar of the key players created a new uh, operating system called Unix. While the Multix, the, the main idea of Multix and creating Multix was to concentrate, or the main goal was to concentrate on security. So Multix system had security as the main goal and included multiple security levels and passwords. The Unix system did not at that point. In the late um, 1970s, the microprocessor brought 
in uh, a new age of computing capabilities and security threats as these microprocessors were networked and communication could be hacked. So every error has its uh, problem with it. And the more advanced um, or the more complex these machines became, the uh, more vulnerabilities uh, it included. In the 90s, as networks of computers became more common, uh, there was a need to connect the networks to each other. So I have network one, network two, network three. It's like a bunch of computer, each bu uh, bunch of computer are connected together in a network. Now we need those networks to be connected with each other. This gave a rise to the internet, which is the first appearance of a global network of networks. All these networks communicating with, with each other, talking to each other. The growth of the internet came at a costly price of treating security as low priority. They were all concentrating on how can we connect these networks together, but not concentrating on what will be next as a security uh, procedure to protect those information from passing through these networks. As the requirements for network computers became the dominant style of computing the ability to physically secure the physical computer was lost and the stored information became more exposed to security threats now remember that is uh, each one of these computers are individually uh, uh, stored or put in uh, in a certain area in an office or some place which means that it not maybe it's not behind closed doors or um, many people has access to that computer and that computer is networked to other computers in the area and that's where you get the vulnerabilities and the threats and the weaknesses in the network from the year 2000 until today the internet has brought millions of unsecured computer networks into communication with each other all of us are connected with each other through our internet, our um, computers, uh, all our computers are connected uh, globally to other networks, other uh, computers uh, all over the world. Many of these computers are unsecured and vulnerable to attacks. The security of the stored information is influenced by the security on each computer to which it's connected and the growing attacks created a need to improve security. Over the years, information security became more recognized and its priority has increased. Researchers uh, started to define and address information security and network vulnerabilities. Information security was defined as the protection of information assets used, stored, or transmitted from risk through the uh, application of policy, education, and technology. Information security means to be protected from hackers or printers who might harm your organization, or even to be protected from unintentional harm by people you might know. A successful organization should have multiple layers of security in place for the protection of its operations by adding physical security, which is to protect the physical item, objects, or areas of an organization from unauthorized access and misuse. And that's what we said by behind closed doors. Uh, personnel, uh, personal security, which is to protect the individual or group individuals who are, uh, who are authorized to access the uh, organization and its operations. Um, we can also go to the uh, operations level, operations security, which is to protect the details of a particular operation or series of activities. Those machines are communicating with each other, uh, transmitting information. So communication here is also important, and that's why we need to add communication security, which is to protect an organization's communication, media, technology, and, and, and content from any uh, threats or any uh, attacks. Network security, as networks being connected with each other, also we have to be concerned about that, so which is to protect networking components, hardware and software, 
uh, to protect the connection itself and to protect the contents that will be sent through uh, the network. And at the end, um, we need to protect organization's information from theft. All that, the goal, the main goal is to protect the data, the information that's been transmitted from any theft, any espionage, any sabotage. Notice that some of these uh, security bre breaches are due to unintentional human errors. That is, uh, that's why we need to educate and train the people in the organization and advocate awareness. Um, most of the time you will have, once you are hired in a company, you will get training and part of the training will be about security, about the authorization, about the access, how to access computers, the username, password, the other security measures that they have in the company. Information security is an integration of network security, computer and data security, and a management system that can manage information security adhering to policies and rules. Each company will have their own rules, they will have their own policies within that company, they will have certain culture that you have to follow. The CIA is a triangle that's been considered uh, as the industry standard for computer security since the development of the mainframe. It was solely based on three characteristics that, uh, that describe the utility of information, which is confidentiality, integrity and availability or CIA. So the CIA in this situation is about confidentiality, integrity and availability of the information. And that's why we call it the CIA triangle, which is uh, being expanded now into a list of critical characteristics of information. So now it's not only three, uh, it's more than that. The expanded list of characteristics will include the three original ones plus the uh, other uh, added ones, which is accuracy, authenticity, utility, and position. If we go to each one of them and define uh, each one of them, we can see that confidentiality uh, is the quality or state of preventing disclosure uh, or exposure to unauthorized individuals or uh, systems. So you, you need everything to be confidential. The integrity is the quality or state of being whole, complete, and uncorrupted. The integrity of information is threatened when the information is exposed to corruption, damage, destruction, or other uh, disruptions of its uh, authentic uh, state. The availability uh, enables users who uh, need to access information to do uh, to do so without interference or uh, obstruction and it uh, in the uh, required format. The information is said to be available to an authorized user when and where uh, it's needed and in the correct format. Uh, you want this information to be available for the user, uh, but at the same time, uh, you want to make sure that it is uh, confidential, it is um, hidden from unauthorized users. The different characteristics is like accuracy, which is, the, like we said, you know, you need this uh, information to be accurate. So uh, when we say accuracy, we mean that uh, the information should be free from mistakes or errors and uh, having the value uh, that uh, the end user expects. If information contains a value different from the user's expectation or uh, some errors due to the uh, um, intentional or unintentional modification of the content, it's no longer accurate. And that might impact the uh, company, that might impact the um, uh, um, organization in general, not only uh, one area, but all areas in the organization. The authenticity that is the quality or state of being genuine or original rather than uh, a reproduction or fabrication. Information is authentic when it's uh, the information um, that was originally created, placed, stored, or transferred. Any alteration of the uh, data or the information will be um, or will uh, 
actually impact the authenticity of that data. Utility, the quality uh, is the quality or state of having value for some purpose or end. Information has value when it serves uh, a particular purpose. This means that uh, if information is uh, available, but not in the format meaningful to uh, the, the end user, then it's, it cannot be useful. They cannot use it. The position is the quality or state of having ownership or control of some objects uh, or items uh, within the information. So information is said to be uh, in position uh, if uh, one obtain it independent of format or another characteristic, uh, while um, a breach of confidentiality uh, allows or um, um, may result in uh, a breach of position. A breach of position does not always result in a breach of confidentiality. So again, um, if somebody took the position of the data that you have or the information that uh, you, uh, you have, then uh, that might impact the uh, company uh, because that uh, will uh, make you a hostage to, the, uh, to that position or that ownership until it's been released. Uh, this is called the uh, CNSS security model, which illustrates the relationship of information storage, processing, and transmission. Uh, those are the things that usually we do with data. We store it, we process it, and we transmit it. And that's the x-axis with the key objectives of um, the CIA, which is the confidentiality, integrity, and availability. And like we said, um, other characteristics will uh, apply to, um, and, and this is the y-axis, and the th three primary means to implement security, which is policy, education, and technology, and that's the z-axis. So this is the model that, that's been created and uh, been suggested to follow as a framework. Some of the key terms and concepts that uh, we will be uh, using and we will mention over the progress of the semesters are the word access and you know by now now you know uh, what what it means which is a subject or object ability to use manipulate modify or uh, affect another subject or object asset uh, which is the organizational resource that is uh, being protected Attack, uh, which is an act that is intentional or unintentional, attempt to cause damage or compromise the information and or the system that support it. Controls, safeguards, or countermeasures are considered as security mechanisms, policies, or procedures that can successfully counterattack, reduce risk, resolve vulnerabilities, and improve the security within an organization. Exploit, which, which means that, uh, to take advantage of the weakness or vulnerability of the system. Exposure is a single instant of being uh, open to damage. Hack, which can be divided into good hack and bad hack. A good hack is to use computers or systems for enjoyment. Bad hack is to illegally gain access to a computer or a system. Object is a passive entity in the information system that receives or contains information. Risk is the probability that something can happen. Security blueprint is the plan for the implementation of new security measures in the organization. Security model is a collection of specific security rules that uh, represents the implementation of a security policy. Security posture or security profile is a general label for the combination of all policies, procedures, technologies, and programs that make up the total security effort uh, currently in place. 
Subject is an active entity that interacts with an information system and causes information to move through the system for specific end uh, purpose. Threats are category uh, of objects, persons, or other entities that represents a potential danger to an asset. Threat agent is a specific instant or component of a, of a more general threat. And last but not least, vulnerability, uh, which is the weakness uh, or fault in a system or a protection mechanism that uh, expose information to attack or damage. These concepts and key terms will be repeated in multiple sessions in different places and will be included in course exams. It's important to note that the same computer can be both the subject and object of an attack, especially in multi-user systems. When a computer is a subject of an attack, it's used uh, as an active tool to conduct the attack. When a computer is the object of an attack, it's the entity that will be attacked. To fully understand the importance of information security, it's necessary to briefly review the components of an information system. Well, actually, we can consider it, uh, we can consider those components for any system. Any system that we use is, um, has those components. And you will study that in a different course uh, called system integration, but um, those are the main components of any system. So for an information system, uh, it's much more uh, than just uh, computer hardware. It's the entire set of software, hardware, data, uh, people, networks, and procedures necessary to use. So we use that to store, um, use the data, store it, process it, and transfer the information within the organization. So we need um, those components. We need the hardware, we need the software, um, the data will be stored there or the information will be moved between that and the user uh, will be the people uh, and uh, will be through networks uh, to uh, control all that we need uh, procedural data or procedures or policies or rules that will govern uh, the movement or transmission or storing or processing of information. Although we are uh, to secure information, it's important to realize that it's uh, impossible to obtain perfect security. Uh, remember that we need to make it available. We need to make the information available for users, but at the same time, we need to secure it. So security uh, is a process, not a goal. Uh, security should be considered a balance between protecting the information and make it, making uh, the information available for the users or the customers. To achieve balance, the level of security must allow reasonable access yet protect against threats. That's why when you set up your network, uh, you can provide different access levels for different people and assign different roles. Some will be admins, some will be able to review and edit, and some might have the permission to read only I will not be able or allowed to make any changes. So that will be all for this session. We will continue talking about the information security and the uh, uh, concepts and terms uh, in the next session. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you and have a great day.